I've seen the poster <laughs> for Lux Listing Sydney Season 2. You called out, thank you to Prime Video for making you look a bit taller on this poster. <laughs> was that a request? Yeah, it wasn't a request, but they <laughs> me in the first poster. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like. Yo, yo. Here he is. How you doing, my man? How are you? Nice to see you, all good? Nice things. You good? All Feeling well. good? Is your ride today? Yeah, we're gonna go for a drive, have a little chat, check out some houses. Bit of black on black in the, in the range, it's all. Here we go. It's happening, let's do let's it. Let's do it. Let's talk about prices and the houses, because I feel like, when did you, like, when did, when did you shoot Lux Listing Season 1? Like, I'm trying to like think, two, it would have been... two years? Yeah, is it yeah, two years? Yeah, yeah I think two years. End of 2020? End of 2020, yeah, something like the that. The market has only gotten... Strength to strength. ...more obscene. Wow, is this really what your money is getting you? <laughs> how how much have we stepped up the quality? How how much has the price gone up? I think we're... I think since 2020, I think we're between 20 and 30% up. Yeah. It's big, big dollars, man. But historically speaking, this is my 15th year in the game. Yeah. I know I look unbelievably young <laughs> to have that sort of experience, but um, I've never seen stock so tight yeah. in my entire career. What about cars? First car you bought when you, your first proper car when you were like, oh, first this is good. Car. I was 24 or 25 years old and I bought a second-hand white Porsche 911 Carrera Oof. With, with red seat belts. My first car car was a Mini Cooper S. It was the gray one with the white trimming. Yeah, yeah, I recall. What about when you're drinking? Yeah. I know you, were, I know you don't mind a rosé or you a champagne man, whiskey. I, I mean, I've been in the last 12 months major on champagne. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people have. Oh, dude. I think kind of like, because COVID's been so miserable, you almost associate celebration with bubbles and champagne. So like, I just like celebrating life. If there was going to be a movie about Gavin, who would play you? So I'm going to say the most suitable person yeah. to represent me, I'll say is Kevin Hart. <laughs> wow. You know what I mean? Only because stature and everything. But, I love that. And his energy and his work ethic uh, from, from his style, I don't actually like his style, so that wouldn't be suitable, but I think... He's a big car man and watch man. I think on everything else it suits, but you know, who would I like to represent me? Um, I love Daniel Craig, man. <sighs> so do I. He's a dude. Give me give me him or give me like Pierce Brosman in his In, in his, his heyday, I agree. Are you a LeBron man or are you a Jordan man? It depends what you value. Yeah. So like basketball for me is just a whole learning experience. You know, like I'm I'm interested in the post game and pre-game conferences to understand the mentality of these athletes because I think that there's so much you can learn from them. Yeah. You know, when I went on my holiday, I sit up close, yes for the experience, but I wanna, you wanna I want, feel it. I wanna feel it. Yeah. And I watch LeBron James, who's 19 years into his career, come back from a 14 point deficit hit a three to tie the game, yeah. see the passion on his face yeah. and the excitement in just making that comeback. And just from that alone, I can learn so much. I know I digress a little bit there because I don't want to answer the question. <laughs> uh, Michael Jordan to me, he's the GOAT. This is the mecca, Vaucluse is my I built it all in Vaucluse, you know, I'm, I'm yeah. passionate about it, I studied it. For the people who are not used to being around here and driving through these suburbs, it is an absolutely wild amount of money for what is a nice suburban home. For sure. Like it is completely ridiculous. Well, I love that. I think the older I get anyway, the more I value peace. Peace is what you should pursue. And, yeah. I, and I think Vaucluse as a suburb, is peaceful because you kind of segregate it. I was going to say, what's <laughs> the thing you're most proud of selling? Um, Are there too many? If you could pick one. I did. It was a double deal on this street when I was like 20, 23. It was that pink Tuscan house, number 40 Ball Clues Road. Yeah, okay. And I sold it for nine 
and this gentleman came through who loved the street because it's a really tightly held street. That, by the way, now is worth like 25. Yeah. Um, but he came through and he was like, look, I love this view, but you know, I want, I want a wider block of land. And yeah. so, like I always used to say, I was just a, I was just a glorified telemarketer for, for the first five years in, in the business. And so lucky I was in touch with a lot of other people on the street. And one of the guys with a wider block, I posed a question of, you know, is there a number that you would trade at if we could do a deal quietly with no marketing, with no advertising? They threw out a number. I brought this guy through, did that deal for 9.55, which is that block I just pointed out. Yeah. And then I signed up his house, which I sold for 8.55. So you got a picture like, and this was with no support of, like I had support, but I didn't have someone walking me through step by step by step by step yeah. what to do. It to was be just, run and gun. It was just like a natural propensity to identify an opportunity to yeah. capitalize. And that sort of shit at, a, at an age like that, dealing with the people I was dealing with was bound to build, you know, a foundation of confidence that was gonna, was gonna take you to where you are. Yeah, something like that. Mate, it has been an absolute pleasure, as it always is, going for a cruise. The conversation just cruises, doesn't it? And you and I always, man, when, when people's interests align, that's how it goes. I like that. Thanks for having me, Jimmy.